on October 28, 1943, allegedly one of the weirdest experiments in science took place, the Philadelphia Experiment, also known as Project Rainbow. During this time, World War II was at its height, and the need to gain advantage over Axis powers was paramount to bringing peace to the world as quickly as possible. And it was this expediency that influenced scientists in America to throw orthodoxy out the window and delve into the stranger side of science. Nikola Tesla, the legendary genius inventor and renowned physicist Albert Einstein, worked on a project together at the United States Navy in Philadelphia Naval Yard. The objective was to create artificial electromagnetic cloaking to enemy radar. Sadly, Tesla died before the experiments were complete, but the military had enough to begin conducting experiments. But first, if you enjoy Cryptic Chronicles, then please help out the channel by subscribing. Over 50% of our viewers are not subscribed, so please hit that subscribe button. It's a small click for you, but it helps the channel greatly and means a lot to me. Also, please make sure you like and comment to help please the algorithm gods. And thanks for supporting Cryptic Chronicles. Depending on who you ask, these experiments had results of profound magnitude that could have never been predicted. The US Navy destroyer Eldridge was fitted with prototype electromagnetic field generators, which did far more than hiding the vessel from enemy radar. Einstein is easily one of the greatest minds that the human race has ever produced and is famous for his revolutionary scientific theories concerning the nature of space-time and physics. Tesla, another unrivaled intellect, was censored by governments his whole career for his paradigm-changing inventions and is the father of our modern electrical infrastructure. The experiment was based on Einstein's unified field theory, which ties all phenomena within the universe to matter and energy. Many geniuses have titled this theory, the theory of everything. The experiments between these two unrivaled scientific minds led to one of the most disturbing military urban legends in history, the Philadelphia Experiment. This infamous World War II conspiracy theory has caused the mainstream herd a lot of frustration. There are tons of quote unquote experts who debunk it as the powers that be always do when something goes against the narrative. But if we know anything about history, we know that the establishment cover-ups and lies are endless, and the world they present to the masses is smoke and mirrors. So, though we will most likely never see the truth concerning the Philadelphia experiment, there is so little objective evidence to support its legitimacy, it's pretty possible the experiment never took place at all. Three days before Halloween, it was time to test this new electromagnetic technology on that fateful day during the war. For some reason, the experiment was conducted with a whole crew, which would be harrowing for all involved. When the prototypes were activated, alleged witnesses claimed that an otherworldly glow of green-blue surrounded the destroyer's hole in the shipyard. The field enabled light to twist around the ship throughout space-time, but didn't result in what the scientists anticipated. Instead of creating a veil of invisibility against radar, a doorway to the quantum reality opened. Depending on the account, things go down differently, but the first test did little but make the crew sick to their stomachs and dizzy for a while. Though otherwise healthy and in a normal state once more after a short amount of time. However, the strange light that engulfed the ship had been seen from up to a mile away, or many miles depending on the witness, which was the opposite of stealth and discouraged the military officers in charge of the operation. But the second attempt was much more dramatic. As the generators hummed into action, the greenish-blue light once again surrounded the ship in an energetic aura. Then right there in the middle of the shipyard in front of many witnesses, the USS Eldridge vanished from sight altogether. In Norfolk Naval Shipyard in Virginia, the ship materialized in a flash, splashing water in an eruption around the vessel as it swayed oddly in many directions with unnatural speed. And just as fast as it had appeared, the destroyer vanished once again, with seawater collapsing into the empty space violently. The Eldritch manifested once more hours later back in the Philadelphia shipyard. 
to reveal a morbid scene of nightmarish proportion. Many of the crew were embedded in the ship's hull, with arms, heads, and torsos protruding lifelessly. Some had fallen through floors in the ship, with half their bodies gone, or splayed out in pieces. A couple of the crew were inside out, with their internal organs cascading around their pink, motionless mound of flesh. Those who had survived were nauseated just like the first test, but insanity seemed to have consumed all of their minds, and many of them had anomalous burns on their skin. The few survivors who'd maintained some level of sanity were quickly put in a quarantine. Any witness the military could find, too, was snatched up by clandestine military squads. Every survivor who came forward years later claimed that they were victims of heavy brainwashing to forget what they saw. A man named Al Bellick became one of these alleged survivors. He'd watched a Hollywood movie depicting the experiment, and it caused repressed memories to resurface. But he was just one among many who claimed to regain lost memories of the event that would come back to conscious memory over the years. The suppressed memories showed Bellick that he'd lost everything. His identity, family, and prior life. The memories he'd been living with were false and impregnated into his psyche by secret powers in the government. However, gaining evidence for her secret government programs is nearly impossible, so any so-called witness account should be balanced with skepticism. That doesn't mean it didn't happen, though. In the interviews with survivors, a story of unreal magnitude formed such as accounts of underground bases and ET agendas, as well as mind control, people switching bodies, ritual sex slave practices, higher dimensions, and even time travel. The deeper you go concerning survivors and witnesses, the weirder it gets. One sailor is said to have even jumped off the ship during the activation of the electromagnetic generators and time traveled all the way up to 1983. Researchers have claimed that what the experiment discovered was space-time compression technology, essentially a technology that creates wormholes in which travel across the planet is possible instantaneously. However, not just the planet, but in theory, the universe as well. The electromagnetic generators were capable of interstellar transportation. Many question why there are no aliens in our galaxy that we can interact with, because according to the Fermi Paradox, we should be surrounded by alien life in an intergalactic community, at least statistically. Others have stated that even faster than light travel is slow when traveling the cosmos, and humans would actually die of old age long before making any real progress. But with the discovery of space-time compression technology, we got the attention of aliens in our galaxy because that's how they travel the universe in the first place. Not through literally journeying in spaceships throughout the stars, but by instantaneous wormhole transportation technology within their UFOs. According to this lore, Einstein's general relativity theory is undisputed, and separation in space-time is nothing but an illusion. And with this technology's creation, as well as the atom bomb, Earth got the attention of alien races. It was from this point on that UFOs would increase in sightings, and allegedly a US president made a deal with aliens in exchange for technology. Humanity has risen by technological advances more in the past 50 years than the past 500, and theorists point towards this deal with extraterrestrials as the source of our technological boom. In exchange, the aliens were granted several approved abductions of U.S. citizens. All this while humanity remained in the dark. For their own protection, of course. However, what did the sailors experience when they were in transit between material matter? Some claimed to have been frozen in time for months, being the only one able to function normally while the world around them was still and unmovable. A foggy cloud-like material surrounded the destroyer, and compasses were spinning similar to Bermuda Triangle accounts. A couple of the crew straight up vanished. Two men in particular claimed that material matter itself became flexible, giving them the ability to walk through physical objects or alter the density of their bodies. A chilling story concerning a family of one of the survivors stated, 
He sat down with his family for dinner, got up randomly, and then walked through a nearby wall, never to be seen again. A documented side effect is men getting stuck in loops of an alternate dimension, which is described as pretty horrific to find yourself in that situation. Survivors have described this getting stuck as the embodiment of hell itself. But the most terrifying accounts are the things that live in between the world between worlds. Do you think that the Philadelphia experiment could have been real? In any case, don't believe anything you hear and only half of what you see.